You're just like your father. Tariq. And my partner back in New York used to rock these custom cuts every day. Now, before I even get started on today's video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. We almost at 5,000. We get a little close. Just 100 more. You know, what y'all doing? Stop staring at the screen. Subscribe. <laughs> now, for today's topic, we're going to talk about the man, the legend, the GOAT, Omari Hardwick, a.k.a. You know, James St. Patrick, the GOAT. Like, let's talk about this because... I mean, I didn't even bother to try to make a video because I because I guess this was based off of something that was said or talked about, I guess, last year where it was just like, oh, Power Book 4, Full Force, uh, Season 2, Episode 5, there was going to be some, some interesting things that was going to happen. Now, that already passed. That has already passed, and we did not see nothing interesting besides Walter Flynn dying and then Vic becoming a killer and then becoming a fed or not a fed but a, an informant so i'm just like okay that was really it really it right so i want to ask the power community like me to you to y'all to everybody how would you actually book a returning james st patrick to power how would you actually book it because i've seen plenty of videos ideas and theories regarding like well technically he's not dead um, he's still watching from the shadows and I do like those videos and ideas because it's James St. Patrick and you'd be watching from the shadows taking notes or whatever but I'm asking all of y'all like how would you actually book this because frankly I think if he was to so called like return right the impact would have to be like the execution would have to be perfect right for him to like make some sort of grandioso return and it would have to actually make sense and the timing would actually have to make sense because i like all of the ideas of you know james st patrick actually maybe he's in florida or james st patrick is actually in london and i'm like now i would have loved the, the london idea because then you could have had james st patrick versus um dci john luther i would have loved that if anybody who watches john luther and you a fan of the show i think that would be money money off the that's money right there john luther versus ghost in london that's money <laughs> but even that would have to make sense as to why john luther would have to go after james st patrick even that would have to make sense to a degree right but nonetheless i think it would make for great tv and it would be really interesting if that would have happened in london right i don't know any shows in florida that whatever I, I just don't know any shows in florida of which james st patrick can actually be involved in or any crossovers that they could have potentially done but i'm thinking that if james st patrick was to return in power i would have not minded if it would have been um in full force i would have not minded at all but i'm i think everybody's going to be looking forward to like power book 2 ghosts because as i said in previous videos i've said that people are just holding on like the hope and idea that james st patrick is actually going to return and power book 2 goes to either help out Tariq, or he's going to probably do something to like make some sort of comeback either he's going to return as a ghost or he's going to return as who he is and he's like alive somewhere or whatever you know because the thing is it's just like um despite everybody in the community who's you know people want to like move on from him and then you have a lot of people from in the community that that doesn't want to move on and be like no 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 no, he should actually make a return and i said this before where i think people would get upset if he was to return as a ghost rather than him being like fully alive because it would make some it would make more sense and seeing how like you know the powers that be is constantly keep playing with this idea of wanting to bring him wanting to bring back the actor but refusing to pay it's kind of like indicating like a back door like they leave him like that like a back door and the window open to um say like listen technically we could bring this guy back to being alive and you don't know the internet is, is gonna break um everybody's gonna lose their mind and ratings is gonna spike if this man was to return but as i said before you gotta pay the man you can't just sit there and shortchange this man and pay this man like uh, two dollars and fifty cents. You bugging? 
you, you you're fucking bugging if you think that you're gonna pay this man two dollars and fifty cents and and he mows you on his way we're inflation right now bitch pay up <laughs> so i was just like how would you actually book his return how would you actually make it make sense for him to actually return because here's the thing tommy and diamond's relationship is relatively new so it wouldn't make too much sense for him to actually return into like power book four force because diamond and tommy you know like i said like their relationship is new and dom diamond has to get to know tommy like a bit more because of his reckless decision making how tommy is moving he has to get to know all of that and seeing how like tommy and ghost have like a 20-year relationship right diamond is gonna slowly learn more about tommy and he may or may not like certain things about tommy but i don't think he's gonna be doing anything ghost like like how ghost was doing to tommy where you know ghost was like you know lying and keeping certain truths from tommy and tommy had to like find out like way later no no no, no. D uh, diamond is nothing like that he's kind of like straight up forward with tommy he's not trying to like go behind tommy's back or do any of that crazy shit like no he's um up and forward with tommy and he lets tommy know these things that's why the relationship between um tommy and diamond is a lot different from tommy and ghost where they friendship like superseded everything and Dim diamond and tommy it's more like it's a mutual understanding they have like an agreement and they actually working together and it's built on trust everything that they do is built on trust and nobody hasn't really betrayed anyone yet and that's the thing that we kind of like about diamond now despite people say oh diamond is an okay character he's a mid character or whatever it's just like no no no, no. diamond i think diamond is like a cool character i like diamond despite people just say forget diamond and, and put ghost back into the mix but again it would have to make sense for you to even throw in ghost in chicago despite and despite everything that's going on no no i i think it's only fair for it to be like diamond and tommy to like have this relationship and chemistry going to keep it different from how it was with ghost and i think that's fair i think that's perfectly fair and it's fine for them to have like this relationship and this partnership going forward now if they want us to do like a ghost in uh london like i said i would have preferred it if ghost versus john luther but again the story would have to make sense for that to happen right or he's just doing whatever in london <laughs> right like he's doing his own little connections he's trying to like build up some sort of um empire in london right if they wanted to do that type of story because the thing is with ghosts you could do anything with with the james st patrick character you can literally do anything and it would make money it would make a lot of money but the question is if you was to bring back james st patrick right one would he rather go back to the life build up do the same thing that he did <laughs> in his earlier year sell get a connect do all of that same process again or two option two would be to get everything back right get everything back and then come up with like some sort of crazy story and a believable story to make it seem like okay this is what happened to james st patrick and now he's back now he's alive and he's back right that's the only two things i would say for like the story to make sense and i think for him to do that it would probably be for him to returning back into like maybe like power book two ghosts right and whether or not if he helps out Tariq or not that will be like totally up to like the writers at this point but in my opinion if let's just say like we go with the idea of ghost was actually watching if he's watching he's only taking notes on how he's gonna bring himself back it wouldn't necessarily be to help out Tariq. i think if they was to do this whole idea of if ghost is alive or ghost is around or whatever he could be building up evidence or information or whatever to like bring himself back because again he didn't want to be in the life in the first well he had to be in the life but as he was in the life he wanted to get out of the life so i think for a person to have lost everything wouldn't you want to try to like regain back everything but you don't want to go back to head start that's a that's in my opinion like for a lot of people who have like so much money and so much power and influence you don't want to go back to head start you would kind of want to because you've already been at head start so you already know the basics so now instead of going back to head start you want to keep going forward to regain back everything and be on top again and then you know the story can you know progress and make sense of how he 
you know, was able to make, make like a comeback or whatever. So, again, like I said before, um, this is, is uh, the ball is up to the writers, is up to the higher ups, is up to them on how they're gonna like produce the story of actually trying to like bring him back. But again, let me know in the comment section down below on um, one, what do you think would be James St. Patrick's grand return? Would you rather see him in Pablo for Force? Right, where it just be like Tommy, Diamond, and Ghost taking over Chicago together? Or two, would you rather see him in Pablo 2 Ghost, right? Either potentially helping out Tariq, or he just goes into business for himself and he's trying to like, you know, bring back his life, but he has to make the story make sense for him to like make a comeback or whatever as to who shot him, why he was shot or whatever. Cause I was thinking too, but it was kind of like a silly thing. If they would have done like some sort of political thing, like the reason why they took out James St. Patrick was for uh, Richard Tate to like get the up and coming, like, for him to be like governor or whatever. I was thinking that as well. I was really, I was strongly thinking that as well. But then, because there's really no evidence besides the, the evidence that Sachs, um got on Tariq or had on Tariq that he basically killed his father, but that was thrown out in court. So. If you was to use any other information, like, oh, the reason why he was taken out was because of Rashard Tate. Because let's just say in, like, Pablo Four Force, right? Rashard Tate doesn't die. Or if RSJ doesn't come after him or anybody doesn't really come after um, Rashard Tate in the next season, right? Then I would have said you could have technically used, like, the idea of, well, he had something to do with it. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But then again, I'm just like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But again, the story would have to make sense for you to actually to bring the guy back. Now, I even throw out this. I even throw out this. If you was to do the whole Chicago thing, right? Where it's all three of them running Chicago together. Ghost cannot be in the scenes. He cannot be in the scenes. It would have to be Tommy and Diamond doing the whole day to day, the whole operations or whatever. While Ghost is basically in the back chilling somewhere. But then again... It wouldn't really make sense because he would have to do that whole process all over again. I mean, we never, as fans, we never fully seen, um, you know, well, I, I guess we will probably see it like in Raising Canaan on how he was actually selling drugs and doing all, doing all that other stuff. But from what we see it was he was running like the nightclubs and stuff, but he never really, he never was really in the streets like that because as the story said was he never was in the streets like that. He was going every time the cops would appear so he was only in the streets for like a little bit and that was never really ghost's like forte to be in the streets like that it was really to get into a higher position and then to like move on from that from that type of style right so again um we just gonna have to like wait and see on what they're gonna do and if they decide to pay this man what he wants and where would he actually go and what would he actually be doing on if he would be to try to regain his own life either help out to read or what so yeah like comment subscribe and share and i'll catch you all in the next one